Wow. Never thought in a million years that I would stand in front of a crowd with a microphone in my hand. Never thought in a million years I would weigh 315 pounds. I used to be the skinniest guy in my school. With 85 pounds, I was 12 years old. I was so skinny, if I turned sideways and stick out my tongue, I looked just like a zipper. <laughs> Only way I got a chance to play football, I didn't play in high school, is my friend was an equipment manager at Florida State University. I wasn't even in school, but he would sneak me into the weight room every day for three months. And I was always doing push-ups. I did 4,000 every morning. It took me three hours. And there was this guy named Deion Sanders. He walked into the weight room. I'll never forget, I watched him from afar because they were interviewing him. He was playing for the Falcons at the time. And I went home, and it wasn't Deion they showed on TV, it was me. They thought I was on the team. They told everybody the strongest man ever to play at Florida State University. I thought I was going to go to jail for trespassing. I thought it was over. <laughs> Coach gave me a call. He says, Coach Bobby wants to meet you, Coach Bill Sexton. He says, you need to come to his office pronto. I knew it was over. I showed up. He watches me. He has a cigar in his hand. He asked me my name. And before my mouth, he says, I already know who you are. For three months, I've watched you on a surveillance camera. <laughs> <laughs> they said, what is, he says, the guys think you're homeless. I show them you on the camera doing push-ups. Your nickname is Weight Room. And they love your work ethic. They do everything that you do. And Coach mentions, do you want to play football? He gives me a scholarship worth $100,000 and he puts me on the team. I've never played football before. <laughs> it's not what you know, it's who you know. My friend had the keys to the weight room. Someone is watching you in your home on a surveillance camera. Someone's watching you at the job on the surveillance camera. God sees everything you do and everything is out there. It's not hidden. But I want to tell you, it takes relationships that he gives you to promote any talent that he has given you. You see, I'm on that bus. I'm on the team. We're playing in a national championship game. And I remember we playing a team called the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska was known for the weight training. They're known for their size. And I want to see the person for myself. I got off the bus, and I remember we're playing in the Orange Bowl, out there in the field, and I'm watching them from afar. And when you see them, they were big, because they had hair on their nose, their teeth. It's like watching cows when you drop by, and they're grazing in the field. And I wanted to take a picture real bad as I watched them. And my friends wondered, what are you doing? Are you, are you getting ready? Are you warming up? What's happening? Can you come and warm up with us? I said, that's them. No, those were the cheerleaders. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we're up by two points. Two points. They're getting ready to kick a field goal to beat us. When he missed the field goal, we got so excited. The guys were supposed to dump the Gatorade on top of the coach. They dropped it on his head by accident. We ran on the field. We jumped up and down. We made a mistake because there's still 20 seconds left in the game. So now we're about to make history because they drove the ball up 15 more yards because we're penalized. And there's a chance we're going to be the first team in history to adopt Gatorade. We didn't use Gatorade because the Gators are our rivals. So we're the first team to ever drop Gatorade on the beverage of your choice on top of the coach and be the losing team. <laughs> so we hit. No one's around the coach. He's angry. He's wet. Missed the field goal. I didn't know he missed it. I looked up. I didn't know if we were crying or celebrating, but I saw the score. We won by two points. I jumped up and down. I screamed. We're in Miami, Florida. The guys went all everywhere around the city. I stayed out there till five in the morning. They wanted, did you go to the beach? Did you party? No. I went to a place called Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I stayed there for four hours. Really, it took that long to take our order. It was more of a service. <laughs> but I was with two of my teammates. One of my teammates said, next year, I kid you not, I'm gonna leave my senior year, I'm gonna play in the Super Bowl, I'm gonna buy my mama house, my dog a house, and even the roaches in my house, I'm gonna buy them a house. <laughs> His name is Will Floyd, he played for the 49ers. He played in the Super Bowl on the same field, and he bought himself a house, he bought his mama a house. It's a Super Bowl ring and a national championship ring. My other teammate, he weighed 420 pounds. His name was Forrest Conley, six foot eight inches tall. You know what Forrest said? I'm gonna get my nails done. <laughs> so I sat over here. And I was still couldn't believe that a young man whose father passed away. A young man who used to get beat up in school. A young man that told me that there's no way you can make it. I worked so hard, I achieved it by doing 4,000 push-ups. I achieved it by sneaking to the weight room. I achieved it. All my life I had to achieve. They say if you achieve, if you work hard, you'll get something in your life. Well, I got good news for you. When I was 18 years old, I received something better than a million dollar contract better than a national championship ring. You want to call it a signing bonus? It's a signing bonus, all right. Because 2,000 years ago, I found out that Jesus Christ died for my sins. Amen. And I can't achieve it. I did something that is hard for a lot of people to do. I didn't get on my knees, I had to receive it. I asked Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior, and he forgive me of all my sins for the past, present and future. And guys, I wasn't a bad person, but you know what? It's for the bad person, it's for the good person, the white person, the black person, the rich person, the poor person. He wants everyone in this room to be his number one traffic. And it's more than a signing for this. I'm talking about eternity in heaven.